hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my youtube channel and here i am tarun sarma and we are going to talk about nest.js microservices after giving a lot of thoughts about how we should do it now i finally came up with a plan like uh, how we should do this nest.js microservices recently we have already done uh, nx the mono repo so we are going to utilize those features of nx with the pnpm workspace we can just start with a package based mono repo uh, by just creating a simple pnpm workspace and then just uh, add the nx power to it so we'll have the different applications and the different packages and these all are we are going to build a nest.js microservices they are going to have a common reusable modules like config module database module logger module conf uh, app module or maybe a type or a module or send grid module so couple of reusable modules we are going to build which can be used across different applications we are going to build uh, through these nest.js microservices so my initial idea is to cover the tcp based microservices then grpc then we can also include the kafka rabbit mq as a transport okay and these all services we are going to build with the gateway so how it is going to work is i will talk about the architecture like what we are going to build and we are going to build the same example with the with these different transport the tcp uh, grpc or kafka so let's talk about this so here we are going to use uh, first of all the mono repo pnpm we have already covered plus nx to speed up things okay these are the two concepts and then we will get started with a simple tcp based microservices with the gateway and how we should do it is we will have a api gateway simple service which is exposing rest interface rest interface it indirectly going going to call for each and every these http get put post to the tcp based microservices we have so these all are synchronous services means api gateway will call these tcp based services and they will respond within the time limit http timeout and in the nest yes these are the two type of services one is synchronous and asynchronous like uh, one which deals with the message patterns like grpc or the tcp and another services which deals with the event patterns which are fire and forget and asynchronous like uh, rabbit mq kafka they just need an event and based on the event pattern they act but these, these are the message pattern means if somebody is calling the, these services through the client proxy they need to respond so let's talk about simple tcp scenario here we are going to have a gateway and a couple of services permission service auth service and task service so permission service will resolve the user permissions auth service will create a user give you the token with the appropriate permissions and then you should be able to create task based on the permissions assigned to you so here this gateway is going to call these tcp based microservices so they are running on different different port here you are going to create a tcp clients i mean just like uh, this is just a standard way of creating a client and abi gateway will use those client services to call the tcp based microservices to create a user to create a task or to validate the permissions and this is all synchronous synchronous means uh, if gateway is calling then it is expecting a response and it is going to send these message patterns like in simple rest api is what you do is you use get put post these kind of annotations simply get inside a controller nest.js controller get post right similarly you are going to write these message patterns in the tcp based microservices okay if the message pattern is create user validate user then a particular controller method will get invoked that is just a syntax level like how we are going to write them but these are multiple tcp services which we are going to call through the api gateway so let's say here i will just send a simple http get call http post uh, to create a user i mean the api my api will be api 
v1 user it will be http post or maybe a simple because it's authentication auth sign up or something like this so you will send a http request simple http request to axios or fetch with a payload now this api gateway will redirect it to the tcp based service and the tcp based service auth service will be creating it and then returning the data to the api gateway and then the data is going back to the user similarly when you do the login api gateway will redirect this to the auth service it will generate a token and the token will be returned from the api gateway now this is a tcp based now same structure or same architecture we can replicate through the grpc the only thing is here we just replace this tcp with the grpc here we are just need to expose the proto buffers at the gateway level gateway will use these proto buffers to call the appropriate service so this is auth grpc service task and the permission so here you are going to create a grpc micro nestjs microservice client at the gateway level and based on the request based on the request you are going to call a particular microservice from this gateway it is sign up login refresh token create task update task delete task validate permissions but this still follows the message pattern because this is synchronous when i say synchronous means api gateway will be expecting a response back from these services so when you send a sign up or login auth service will just deal it in the uh, grpc way because the communication between these services are still happening on the http 2.x layer but through grpc protocol and then auth service will respond and gateway will return back the response to the end user end user is still exposed with the rest interface it doesn't know that what is happening underneath what uh, internally they are calling using tscp grpc or just simple http based communication because earlier we were talking about these services where we were just calling them through the http right now we just replace the the mechanism of inter service communications gateway will call the auth service using grpc here we are going to create a grpc client in for nest js service similarly now we will just change the transport mode to kafka rabbit mq or amqp so here let's say it is rabbit mq but for at least for auth service because this should be synchronous here we can just call it as a mail service or maybe something else because the auth service needs to be synchronous you need a response back from the auth service so you get a token now once user is valid he can send uh, this can be a synchronous task service let's say i'm i'm already logged in and i can send these events create task update task delete task to rabbit mq or kafka transport and there is some service like task service is listening to the rabbit mq will do create these tasks so when it comes to these kafka rabbit mq transports obviously this client will be listening to rabbit mq so here it is like messaging it uses amqp or yeah i mean amqp is protocol but it can be kafka so you just need all these tools available uh, we will spin up the containers like uh, redis container rabbit mq and kafka container and you will be using clients so these are kafka clients and you will just push the message to the kafka and then there will be subscribers looking for this particular event pattern they will get this message and they will do the task which is assigned to them okay so these are the asynchronous services because these are fire and forget you will just fire them send them to the kafka rabbit mq and then there is a listener will act on to that those particular events so these are event patterns not message pattern because these are asynchronous in nature but when it comes to synchronous with the api gateway you will use a tcp or grpc or simple http based communication and here we will use message patterns not event patterns so this is my agenda
the overall like what all things we are going to talk and I can just use a simple same example by just keep changing the transport mode and the service types how they deal with uh, API gateway API gateway is still using rest interface and underneath you are doing whatever you want using either asynchronous or asynchronous communications using gRPC trpc or whatever you want we are going to use this concept of monorepo so whatever we have learned in the the recent videos like how the monorepo works package based or integrated with the nx we are going to explore that again and we will see the real world microservice development with the enterprise level okay that's it that's just uh, my agenda and my plan for coming up uh, four to five videos which i'm going to cover and i will be focusing on one common example so you can correlate things and get more understanding